Minecraft here with another tutorial video. So, uh, today I have another um, special challenge series I'm going to be doing. This one is different from the one I've done in the past. Now, don't worry, the Buster series is still coming back. I'm just going to be uh, doing it over again. So, uh, yeah, I just got to make a character kind of quickly here. To go for a medium normal world with a random world evil. And today we're going to be doing something I created called a class swap challenge. Basically, the class swap challenge is there's these different classes in Terraria. Like, you got the melee class, the ranged class, the magic class. Like, not really, like, the, the classes are warrior, ranger, mage, etc. But, like, what do you mean by the class challenge is that, like, say, like, Say you want to use a sword, that's a melee damage class, meaning you have to use melee. Every time you use a weapon, you are stuck in that weapon's damage class until you beat a boss. So if you use a, so if you use melee weapons, you have to defeat a boss using melee weapons before you can start using other types of weapons. Like, for example, if you start off with throwing weapons, that weapons that do throwing damage, and so if you start wanting to use throwing weapons, you have to be a boss using throwing weapons before you can use different weapons. And after you beat a boss, the next weapon you use will belong to that weapon's damage class. So you've got melee damage, you've got range damage, magic damage, throwing damage, and summon damage. I'm going to be grouping throwing and summon damage into one because throwing is really weak once you get into hard mode, but summon is weak early on. So I'm going to group those two into one so you can uh, choose where to use throwing or summon when you use that uh, thing. So uh, let's go into our class swap challenge world and begin the series. Now, you start with a copper short sword of all characters, but if you, if, but unless you want to use the copper short sword for your first boss fight, don't attack it if you have the copper short sword. You can use the axe and the pickaxe to attack if you don't want to use the, if you don't want to use melee, but don't use the copper short sword. Now later on, the axe actually does considerable damage that technically also has melee damage, but only if you hit enemies. If you hit like a wood blocks, if you hit like trees in it, that doesn't count as actually a, using weapon as uh, an attack. So you're fine. So you're free to use the axe to chop down trees, just not enemies. Now, you can still attack slimes with uh, pickaxes, and that won't count as technically the melee thing, because, you know, you can use someone to defend yourself. So, uh, use the pickaxe to defend yourself from slimes if you need to do so. Just don't use a uh, copper short sword unless you want to use melee for the first boss. So, uh, Starting out, you're gonna want to probably collect some wood and some minor, it's like some early ores, and then after you collected a decent amount of wood or wood and a few ores, then well, you're gonna want to try and find some chests and figure out which which class you want to use for your first boss fight. Now, frame uh, weapons are quite common inside of uh, chests, and the merchant can sell you shurikens and snowballs are quite easy to find in snow biomes. So that would make so that kinda of does make coming a viable option for your first or second boss fight. Now uh, melee uh, I just wanna say um I once not melee is um okay, it's just not the best for boss fights early on because it's just not really good for early boss fights. Um well, I'm gonna put these torches in up on zero and there you go. I can actually place a torch here. Now let's see what's in this chest here. Throwing knives, grenades, ropes, wooden arrows, less healing potions, recall, bottle, and silver coins. See what I mean by throwing weapons being really common? That's got 138 throwing knives from that one chest. Which is a lot. Now uh, I'm kind of thinking of either doing ranged or throwing for this first boss fight here, because well, throwing weapons are very plentiful in chests, so you can buy shirts from the merchant. And, well, ranged weapons, they have the added benefit of, well, being able to use the 
only thing else to set bosses on fire. Now, like, say if you want to use a ranged plat, like, ranged damage, you aren't locked into a single weapon, but you're just locked into a single damage class. Now, uh, thing is, um, like, so yeah, you're kind of, like, locked into a certain damage class every time you want to fight, like, every so often. Like, sure, you can swap between using a gun and a bow of flaming arrows if you want to, you know, swap between damage and burning, but... Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna retreat a bit. This purple slime is kind of giving me a bit of trouble. So I'm gonna quick heal and jump back in. Ow. Come on, take out the purple slime. Alright, I can take out the blue slime too, sure. But I gotta take out this purple slime. Alright, give me your goods. Um... Okay, I thought there was something inside me, but apparently there's not, so uh, uh, that sucks. I just got to keep taking on these slimes and the pig axe, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. What the? A desert with. A desert that. has hand in it. That's the weirdest religion I've ever seen so far. Well, we've got a bit of cactus I can chop down. To, you know, start on the cactus armor if I wanted to use that. Looks like you're gonna use the cact cactus armor because it's reliable. But then, of course, we got this wood here, boreal wood, which is kind of decent as well, so I'm not really sure if I should go for the boreal wood or the cactus. I don't really think cactus is gonna be much of a viable option because, you know, we've only got one back there. So I think I'm going to try and stick to the Boreal Wood set for now. Now, uh, this is quite different from the Boss Rush series. You do not, like, in this series you don't have to try and beat the boss as quick as you can, but you're kind of locked into a single damage class. And then you have to beat a boss to change that damage class. And another thing is, like, say you use melee. You can't just use melee again on the next boss if you want to. You have to go through four different classes. Um, like for example, like if you use throwing on a boss, you can't use throwing again until you beat three more. Bo until you beat a boss using. Me me uh, if you want to, if you use the throwing weapon, throwing damage weapons on a boss, you can't use throwing or summon weapons on a boss until you beat a boss with melee, a boss with range, and a boss with magic damage weapons. So you also gotta plan your weapon usage carefully so that way you don't get stuck with bad uh, weapons against certain bosses like Wall of Flesh or Moon Lord. So you so it's not only just kind of speed stick stuck to one weapon class, but it's also sort of quiet strategy so you don't like mess up and get stuck with a bad class against a certain boss. I think I have enough for a full boreal set of armor, so I'm gonna set this or orphanage down and make some armor. Boreal helmet, boreal chest, and boreal legs. Cool, I've got um, some decent armor to start with. Right click, right click, right click, click. There we go, I've got some basic armor for defense. I can deal with it. Hmm. You know, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make a bow. I'm, I have the turn I'm gonna use the bow against the eye of the Uh, there we go, Boreal Wood Bow. Let's wrap it, nice. I can, I can deal with that. Wrap it. That's good. I've got 57 arrows currently. That should be able to take out a few slimes. Ow. Now, I, I'm not locked into this Boreal Wood Bow until I beat the boss, but I'm locked into the ranged class now that I've started to shoot with it. So, until I beat my first boss, like the Eye of Cthulhu, either World or King Slime, I can't switch into a different damage class. So now I'm stuck using this. So now I'm stuck to use ranged classes to attack stuff with and try to beat the boss. I'll get more into this later on when we start getting more bosses, but as of right now, I'm stuck into using ranged weapons. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue moving along, doing some stuff. Now you can still use weapons that aren't in your current uh, weapon class, like break pots, but you can't use those to attack, so it's perfectly fine to use a proper source one to break pots as long as you're not attacking with it, if you're 
not on a melee class for his different boss run. And, uh, yeah, you could pair this challenge with my boss rush challenge if you want, but that's gonna probably be a big pain in the butt, because not only are you trying to beat bosses as fast as possible and have to fight them if you have not, if you have to summon items or materials to make this an item, but you're also stuck into using one certain, um, weapon damage type, which can be a bit annoying, because, like, if you want to swap between, like, say, uh, magic damage, but you also want to have, like, the ability to, like, burn the things with, like, arrows, that won't work if you combine the two challenges. Also, it makes summoning a lot harder, because you can't just have, like, the summon out and then, like, attack with a weapon. You have, you would have to be the boss using summon weapons, but, of course, can summon it and throw an arm. To get it, you could actually use. I'm, I'm gonna let you be able to use seven weapons with throwing weapons because you know I kind of like, had them together, and uh, I need to uh, fight this with bow. Man, no, no, fight, fight, fight me, fight. Thank you. Okay, um, and what's this? There we go. I'm kind of running low on arrows, so I need to find like a chest or get some stone. Here's some stone and some copper. I'll grab some copper. I think I'm going to make better bows later on before I fight boss. That was a good sign that hit me. Ow. Alright, I've got a bunch of stone here I can gather. Let me just pick this up. That will last me a long time. Good. Now I've got bunches of arrows to use. I've uh, got yeah. 571. That's nice. Get these mushrooms. And let's go. And you get hit by a blue slime. Wonderful. You will die of blue slime. That's how much you shoot you. No, die. Die. Thank you. I got bombs. You know what? I could go over to the corruption and get a musket. Wait, no, no, I don't, I don't get the musket, do I? I, I think, no, I get musket balls, but I get, like, a rifle or some weapon from the Shadow Worms on Corruption. Right. If you get the Undertaker, but then you get, like, something. I can't remember if it's a musket or some other thing. I think it's some other, like, rifle weapon, but... Yeah, you can get a gun from the Corruption, so... None of bombs, man, I could get that. I mean, that means I could then be able to, you know, burn and do solid damage to the box. And use a chest with umbrella and some potions. Like recall might have. To be honest, I was, I'm not really a big fan of potions in Terraria, but like my my two favorite potions are actually uh, recall and wormhole. Honestly, like I have skin and stiffness, I like those, but I just don't really use uh, potions that often. I'm not really that kind of person that like, likes using buff potions, but well, we're gonna need to be able to use buff potions if I want to do well. Alright, all right, this series or the boss rush series, which don't get me wrong, the boss series is gonna start back up soon. I'm just gonna be, you know, starting it over because you know, just I, I don't really know. Just, it's gonna be starting up again soon, but it's gonna be like restarting. Let me just deal with this zombie. Hopefully get a shackle, because that'd be nice. I did not get a shackle. Huh. Alright, right, so there's some copper right there. And, um, okay, I'm gonna mine this copper. sniping stuff with a bow. Oh well. Uh, wait, what if my ropes on? Alright, seven dumb idiots. I need to remember what I put my ropes on. Nice. 
supposed to really do. Okay, that's odd. It had a sand since then a few seconds in the sand battle, but then it just ended. You also got a zombie right now, so it's uh, not sure if it's but because it actually does want to fight us. So that's nice. Let's pick up some sand, so it doesn't crush us on the mine. Coming. I do not want to deal with you with this stuff. Fight me. No, I said fight me. 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 No, I said fight me. What, what did you get about? Fight me. Fight me. No, 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 Okay, I swear. Seriously, you just have to keep jumping back up after you get after you wreck my face with a few times hits. Which I do not like. That makes me feel annoyed and I'm gonna die. Crap. I do not gonna die, but I don't wanna die. Come on the demise our stuff. I'm trying to get out of this as few deaths as possible, so... Man, nice. Let me wait for our chance to heal up. And I'm gonna try and take out these zombies somehow. This is why my way is so lucky, I can't, you know. We'd be love to do it just da 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 No. Oh my god, there's still so many of them. What? How? Okay, I'm not the best at dodging in these areas, so... You can always use cover pickaxe, like my cover pickaxe is for attacking because you know it's gonna be hard to not hit something with a pickaxe when trying to line up blocks. So yeah, you can have some lane on that. You can always attack with cover pickaxes or just any pickaxe for that matter. But since you know pickaxes aren't really gonna be good for fighting, uh, yeah, I saw something. Yeah, did the night owl actually do something? I have no clue at all. I need some ropes, and I'm gonna get hit by a zombie. And then I'm gonna forget to move. Nice. At least I'll take out the zombie, pick up one arrows, and then try to finish placing some rope. Alright. And I'm gonna... You know all these are recall and whatnot. I'm gonna probably need to build some houses and some kind of ladder if I wanna... Join NPCs. Okay, the guy's being attacked, wonderful. 
You know, I'll help out the guy. Okay, good. Let me grab the two trees and place some chests. I just don't really want to waste space with my costume, so I just make the smallest house type possible. The smallest house type that is considered valid. Because you don't have to waste time, or resources, or spots. I place on the chair, get a torch, and this should be considered valid. Let me check. Housing, housing carry, query. Suitable. So put the guy here. Alright, now the guy has a house. Good. The guy now has a home to go to. The guy, what's up? Let me see what's up with you. They say there's a person who will tell how to start this land. Oh wait, that's me. Alright, uh, can we come do anything with shurikens? Wait, no, I can't. Now, throwing knives are material. They can make poison knives. No, wait, there's two- oh. Wait, you make poison knives? There's just powder? Really? Really? Huh, they actually need two more damage now. What was some more crit chance? And they boom, they make potions. Gonna change, regeneration, iron skin, mana re le na 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 mana My god, day blooms make pretty much like any type of potion. Uh yes, I'm getting to plant some day blooms. Uh where should I plant them? Here. You know what those two spots are fine. Yeah, I need to find a sign. There we go. All right, my village version 1.0. I have a house, two day bloom seeds, and two empty chests. That torch. That's all I have right now on this lame village. And this is also time, so. You know what? I'm gonna pick up more wood, because I need wood. And maybe adventure up to the left or some. Now you 
these two I don't really like these signs, but this time I won't use them. Because you know, I'll help you like the two areas, like the village slash home base area, storage, tree farm, stuff like that. I'll let you know what's going on in each area. Like whether it's a farm or a like whether it's like a glow stick farm or something, because like if I happen to get a jellyfish statue, that would be nice. Because jellyfishes drop glow sticks when you kill them. And glow sticks work underwater. Well I think they're the only ones that works underwater, I think, so that makes them actually quite useful. And it's like kill this slime that had eleven galore. Nice. I can turn that into a few bars and not have to use them because I don't have enough. But I can make some more platforms. And okay, so uh, some more platforms. That is probably a bit too much, but eh, whatever. There's frost here. And then I can jump and place the dead there. Alright, so we got a bunch more trees over here. I wonder what this place will take us. Alright, so yellow marigold, I'm gonna pick that for later so we can get the die trade if I ever want them. I mean, I'm probably gonna use the dry trigger at all, but they're an NPC. They can't for once to get the achievement, of course, all NPCs. And, uh. Well, that's the most weirdest ant line the hill I've ever seen. It's like just at the start of the desert. It's odd. Anyways, we need lots of platforms. So, it's platforms. It's not gonna be enough anymore. 34, that should work. Probably not, but yeah. The platforms. It would. I need to get across here. Get all the way the platforms. And I'm getting lag. I got some I got like two lag spikes there. And I need more platforms, I knew it. 16. I need two more. Boop. Okay. Cool. Alright, so, cactus I can get rid of with my axe. In fact, he says to upgrade my armor a bit, but cactus armor. Then it's like one more defense, which is not at all much, but uh, wait, where's my rope? Oh, it's right here, okay. Rope. It's sliding. Remember that, mate. And, uh, okay, we've got a random antlion charge in there. One, bro, let's uh, try to kill it. Please stop it from gonna. Charge into our bed. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. Kill it. Yes, Crickle. Oh, would you look at that? More antlion crap. This time's a swarmer. Alright, I killed that one too. Nice. Now we're gonna need more uh, platforms. Da, da, da. Nope, one spot. Um, pickaxe. There we go. Alright. Uh oh. Um, die. Not the best dodger in the world, but I can do some stuff. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much close to the end of the video. I'm not doing the meal. Let's finish this platforming, kill those watchels, and I'll probably end the video then. Uh, no, sand slime, go away. This has been JP Craft with episode one of my class swap series. 
gonna be doing range for the first boss. See you guys.